I apologize for the cicadas. What is going on guys? Nick here, back with another video. In my last video, I tested out whether or not the parabolic mirrors were better than the Yagi's, and I found that the Yagi's were definitely a little bit better, but a lot of people were asking what happens if I combine them. Let's find out. Alright guys, so how this test is going to work is I'm going to fly up to 360 feet and I'm going to fly straight out in the same direction uh, with the Yagi mirror combo, the Yagi's by themselves, and then the uh, controller. Uh, this way you're able to compare the range and the video signal strength coming back to the uh, controller. This is my uh, phone screen recording so you can see what you would see if you were controlling the drone. Uh, I have noticed at this 2,000 foot mark, for whatever reason, this specific spot, I get just a little bit of signal interference, so you can see on all three drones, I get just a tiny bit of lag, um, but you'll see that the video feed picks up and returns to full strength in a second. So we're definitely starting to see just a little bit of signal interference issues with the uh, controllers by themselves. However, the uh, Yagi and the Yagi mirror combo are still going pretty strong. No real issues at all there. Right, so the video controller just lost its video feed. Getting our first aircraft signal interference warning from the Yagi's by themselves. The uh, Yagi mirror combo still going strong, no lag whatsoever in really either the Yagi mirror or the Yagi's. Alright, so at this point with the controller, I'm at 4,000 feet. I'm already having pretty bad signal problems. I figured there wasn't really much of a point in uh, continuing to send it. Um, I did get much more range out of the controller by themselves in my previous test. I'm not sure why today it's not going quite as far, um, but the controller is going to return to home in just a second. We'll see. Yep, looks like it's about to turn right now. Yep, and there it goes. Alright, so we just have the Yagi mirror combo and the uh, Yagi's by themselves. It uh, looks like right now the Yagi mirror combo is getting a very slight edge, although it did just hit a little bit of lag. Uh, it definitely seems to have a little bit less lag than the Yagi's by themselves. Both are showing full bars in the uh, remote connection. I gotta say, these Yagi's really impressed me with how much signal power they add to the uh, controller. I really wasn't expecting them to make this big of an improvement, but definitely makes a big difference. If you're uh, looking to get your own pair of Yagi's, I don't have an affiliate link, but they're pretty easy to find on Amazon. Uh, same thing with the mirrors. Alright, so we're starting to see um, just a little bit more signal quality issues with the Yagi's by themselves. However, the uh, Yagi mirror combo. Still going pretty strong, no issues really at all. Alright, so we're getting a little bit more lag with the Yagi's. Yagi mirror combo still going pretty strong, no real issues at all. I mean, you'd think that I'm only flying at about a thousand feet with the uh, way the video feed is coming back. Alright, so we lost video feed on the Yagi's by themselves for the first time. Alright, I'll go ahead and hit cancel on the return to home transmission. Um, I was a little bit curious if I switched it down into P mode, if the uh, change of the angle of the drone was able to improve its ability to send the signal back so I can get a stronger video feed from the uh, remote controller. Uh, and it looks like it, it kind of worked. I'm not really sure though if that's just re-establishing the connection or if it actually has something to do with the uh, different angle. Alright, coming up on uh, 10,000 feet here, um, we can see that the Yagi's, I mean, still holding up pretty well. Not quite as good as the Yagi Mirror Combo, but, I mean, really not too bad for being out 10,000 feet. Um, it's pretty clear, though, that if you have the Yagi's with the mirrors, that it definitely improves the uh, signal range. Uh, send them both back here. Okay, wow. I was definitely not expecting to hit 10,000 feet so easily with the uh, combination. I've never made it out that far with that strong of a signal, so I definitely would say that 
putting the Yagi's on with the parabolic mirrors definitely improves range. Uh, I think I probably could have gotten a lot farther if I had been a little bit more battery efficient on the way out, um, but because I had it in sport mode the entire time, I couldn't quite get the max distance out of it. All right, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.